Uh, good morning. So today we are going to discuss about how to write down uh, manually, how to write down the test case in uh, manual. With uh, uh, we are going to be use, we are going to be explore here on the Jira, and uh, Jira is the project management software, but Jira is not going to be provide you a test management. So for test management, we are going to be use plugin. So today we are going to be. Already we have installed the plugin called Zafir Scale and uh, we have seen that how we are going to be write down the test case in Zafir Scale. Hmm? So just I'm going to share my screen here. And so hope uh, everyone is able to see my screen. So you can see that uh, there is the one uh, story or we can say that uh, use case in manual testing. So we have uh, already we have one use case here. So you can see that I want to uh, securely access one online insurance platform. So there are a number of insurance platforms are there. And just I want to access one of the insurance platform. For that, uh, accessing that platform, we, uh, we have one use case. And we are going to be seeing that how we are going to be write down the test case against that use case or against that story. So just here you can see that uh, this one is the use case. We can see this one is the use case. And we can see the as a part of description, we can see some objective. So like uh, to provide users with secure and seamless access to their insurance accounts through the online platforms uh, or uh, using the online platform login page. So here we can see that two actors are involved for that particular. So one is the normal user. As a part of normal user, you can see that the individual who hold the insurance policy and needs the access their accounts. Means those who have already buy uh, insurance policy, though those who are having a already insurance accounts, he can easily access that uh, insurance platform. And second one is the, uh, for online insurance platform, uh, the digital system that facilitates insurance services and manages the user account. So uh, first of all, the uh, we require the two actors. The first one is uh, the user who is already buy some insurance policies. And second one is the, uh, we can say that platform. Here we required uh, one platform where user can interact uh, user use their accounts credentials and login into that platform. So just here we can see these are the two actors. We can now we can see that uh, the preconditions. So here we can see that precondition is user must have valid insurance policy with platform. User must possesses the necessary login credentials like username and password and online insurance platform must be operational and accessible. So now here we can see that this one is the preconditions we can see. The basic flow means first of all user navigation. The user navigates to the online insurance platforms official website. Then uh, user locates and clicks on the login and login or sign in option. Then uh, then after that input credentials they will be they are going to be provide the input credentials username and password. They are going to be uh, enter the username in username field password in password field uh, as a part of authentication. So just here uh, if we are uh, entering the valid credentials then uh, is going to be checked, this credentials is going to be checked into the database. If our valid uh, credentials are valid, uh, credentials are correct, then uh, user get uh, granted the access and otherwise we'll get an error message. Uh, now here we can see that uh, for authentic authentication, some uh, online insurance platforms are having two uh, factor authentication. Some have single uh, factor authentication. Means single factor means just we have been entry username and password and click on login and we navigate to the uh, insurance uh, home page or some uh, insurance portals are having like two factor means once we are entering username and password then we get uh, we get one OTP on our mail ID or our uh, mobile device uh, so we need to enter that um, OTP one time pa password in uh, particular field and then we navigate to the uh, applications dashboard page or home page this one is, we can call it as a two factor so it totally optional uh, then here we can see the dashboard access. So upon successful authentication, user redirected to the personalized dashboard. So alternative flow, uh, suppose user is forgot their password. So we click on to the forgot password and we try to uh, reset our password. So this basically this one is the alternative flow. Again here one we can see that there is the one more flow called exceptional flow. So account lockout. Suppose uh, uh, we have like every uh, uh, platform having some authentic means um, like a three times or five times we can 
uh, enter the wrong password. After that, our account get locked. So this one is the exceptional flow. So if our account, uh, we have made some unsuccessful login attempts and our account get locked. So our, our account for specific periods, for specific time, uh, our account get locked like uh, eight hours, like uh, 24 hours. After that, again, we are going to be try to uh, forgot password and uh, we are going to be uh, uh, resume our uh, uh, means resume our uh, login things with the, uh, that portal. So just here, uh, here we can some post conditions are there. So post condition means just uh, once we have on a dashboard page, then we can see our policy. Uh, if we want to user want to make a pay, uh, pay some premium payments, so the, he can able to perform that uh, payments. So these are, these are the just here we can see that post condition and uh, security considerations. So uh, sec as a part of security con consideration, we can see that uh, the platforms having the uh, secure secure platform means if we are using HTTP and HTTPS, so HTTPS is basically provided for purpose. So secure platforms, we can say that. So just we are going to be see this. So this one is the our requirement and we want to uh, write down the test case against that requirement. So here we can basically we are going to be use one tool called Zephyr scale. So just click on Zephyr scale. So we can see that you know, Zephyr scale getting open here. So first time we are integrated with that project. So just we are, we are going to be click on allow button. And again here we, we can click on to the click here to enable. So we can see that Zephyr scale is enabled with our uh, Jira software. If now we want to write down the test case against that requirement. So just here we, we are having an option called new test case. So just we are going to be click on to the new test case. And we can see the test template uh, are open here. Also here we can see that create test case. So we, we, we are going to be add the name, name of the test case. So basically name is just here we can see that test case name is uh, login into insurance portal or uh, you can say that secure login into insurance portal so objective is nothing but we are able to access that uh, so just here we can say that access insurance portal as a end user this one is our objective so precondition already we have been mentioned uh, in the requirement so same precondition we can add uh, we can also add here uh, so just i am going to be save these things uh, as a part of details now i am going to be click on to the next tab called test scripts so here we can see that as a part of test scripts we can see the number of steps are there so just means here we can see that as a part of steps uh, the more step then test data and expected result so whatever action we are going to be perform, so we are going to be write down the action as a part of step. If some test data are required, we are going to be mentioned test data in test data column. Like uh, if we are, we are going to be provide username, we are going to be provide the password. Uh, so again, whatever we uh, as expected result means once we are going to be perform action. So what will be the expected result? We are going to be mentioned here as a part of expected result. So just here we can see that. So just here, uh, we have to write down user. I'm going to write down one first step. User navigate to insurance portal login page. So just this one, this action I'm going to be performed. So just I'm going to be mentioned as a part of step user navigate to insurance portal login page. So test data. So just we are going to be mentioned Mm, URL here, whatever the URL are required for a, that particular insurance portal. So URL must be HTTPS colon www. Uh, just I'm going to be mentioned like uh, insurance portal dot com. This one is a uh, just I'm going to be mention a dummy URL name as a w HTTPS colon double slash www dot insurance portal dot com. And expected result should be. Mm, user successfully here we can validate a uh, valid user successfully 
navigate to insurance portal login page so this one is the our expected result so i want to add the second step so just i'm going to be click on add step so now here we can see that earlier we are having only single step once i'm going to be click on add step so uh, we can see the second step is in visible so just i'm going to be uh, if user successfully navigate consider if our first is getting passed so what will be the second uh, step so we can see the number of objects are available onto that particular page like here we can see that user hmm, uh, see the below objects on insurance portal login page so just like we are going to be mentioned what whatever the uh, objects uh, are required like huh? so insurance portal uh, i'm going to be mentioned here logo then insurance portal a page of that particular page heading should be there and then uh, username text box should be there uh, password text box should be there uh, then mm, login button should be there forward password link should be there suppose we miss uh, the password so forward password link should be there uh, then if user is newly there he want to create a uh, first time user is on portal and he want to create the account so here we can see that new user registration uh, new user registration link should be there so basically we can see that these objects should be available on to the uh, uh, that insurance portal page so just we are going to be mentioned so here no test data required just as a expected result we are going to be mentioned that validate mentioned objects should be on insurance portal login page so this one is the so in that way we are going to be just develop the test case against that requirement now i'm going to be save that so in that way just uh, we are having a lot of things so just we are going to be write down the test case uh, in zapier scale uh, so here we can see that now if i'm go and see as a part of execution so we can't see anything here as a part of execution so if we want to execute the same test case, so just I'm going to go back to the Zapier scale once again. Now you can see that we are having the test case. The test case name is secure login with insurance portal. So just I'm going to be click on to that. So we can open the test case here, but uh, we can see the test steps. We can see the details, but we can't see anything in a execution. So no execution, no test execution is there. So I go back to the Zapier scale. And now I'm going to be create a test cycle here. So because without test cycle, we can't execute the test case here in a Zapier scale. So we need to add that test case, whatever the test case we have written, we need to add the test cases in test cycle and then we are going to be execute the test cases. So just first of all, there is no any test cycle. So we need to create a new test cycle here. So I'm going to be click on to the new test cycle here. So here we can see the name of the test cycle. Suppose we uh, we are uh, running a first of January. So just I'm going to be mentioned here, January sprint 01. And now I'm going to be save the name of the sprint. So there is no test case. So we need to add the test case. So I'm going to click on test cases and click on to the adding test cases. So here we can see the list of test cases. Right now we have only single test case, but if we are having multiple test cases and we want to add these test cases into the cycle, so just we are going to be select that test case, select that test cases and click on to the add button. So we can see the test case is successfully added into the 
So now, again, I click onto the Zephyr scale. Again, I go to that test case. And if now I go to the execution, sorry. So just I go back because, and I go to the test cycle. So here we can see that the test cycle, we have added the test case. Huh? So, but the test case is getting executed. Hmm? So once we click onto that here, so this one is the test cycle and still we uh, we we uh, didn't see any test case in that test cycle so uh, go back so and i want to add the test cases into that test cycle so there is no test case uh, we want to add the test case here so Go to the edit, we'll go back to the test cycle again, adding the test cases here. Select the test cases. Earlier we are not save that test cases. So just we need to click on to the save button. So now we can see that that test case is successfully added into the test cycle. So if now we go back and go to the test case, go to that open that test case and go to the execution. So now we can see that that test case is in uh, as a part of execution and status. We can see that the current status is not executed. So we want to execute that test case. So just I'm going to be click on to that test case. Now here we can see status is not executed, but here we can see that there is the play button which is in enabled state and not executed is in disabled state. Uh, so here we can see these are the status. So right now the test uh, before executing the test case, we can see the test case is a not executed. Once we start executing the test case, it will is in progress state. So here we can see that once we click onto the uh, that in progress. So uh, then if our test case all test steps are successfully passed, then test uh, status is passed. If there is the one single step is also getting failed, then whole test case status should be failed. And if some dependency is there, one test case is depend on the another test case. Uh, then that time we are going to be changed the status as a marker as a block right now our test state status is unexecuted not executed so i'm going to be click on to the play button so now here we can see that our test is in progress now if we are copy that insurance portal and open in one uh, browser and if we are successfully open that uh, suppose just uh, if insurance portal.com is available right and we are successfully navigating out to that particular portal. Uh, so if we successfully navigate, that portal is available, then we can make the status as pass. Hmm? Either if that URL is not available or something is missing, then we mark the status as fail. So in that way, we are going to be just update the status here. And finally, uh, suppose this one is also failed. So if that particular steps are getting failed, so this one is getting blocked because we are not validate these remaining things. So just we are going to be mark this step, this, this step is a blocked. And finally, we can see the status is getting failed here. Testing st uh, the whole test case status is getting failed. So in that way, we are going to be execute the test cases in Zephyr scale. So I hope uh, everyone is uh, clear how we are going to be write down the test case uh, in Jira using Zephyr scale. Uh, so thank you for watching. So we'll share uh, the such kind of informative videos uh, related to testing on our channel. So thank you. So uh, thank you very much. Bye. Have a great day.